What up guys, it's your boy Raptek here. So today they've released two new maps and a trailer. Uh, one map is for PvP, one map is for PvE, and the trailer is for the PvE map. And we're going to be talking about all three, as well as we're going to be doing a trailer breakdown. But before we get into this video, we're going to talk about an update that happened two days ago. I'm a little bit late to the party, but it goes like this. R66, patch 3, October 12th. In this patch, they've sped up the weapon progression for tier 4 and 5. Now the weapons progress almost twice as fast for these tiers to be unlocked, which meant that for a lot of people, including myself, who was only at tier 4 about halfway through, had tier 4 and tier 5 unlocked once this update dropped. Another big aspect of this update was that now PvP matches only start when all 12 players have joined the game room. Personally, I find this to be unnecessary. Um, as I didn't feel like this was an issue before, but hey, uh, at, at its worst, all it's really doing is just delaying games a little bit. They take a little bit longer to start, but uh, I haven't noticed any drastic changes. And the other two lines in the release notes are just bug fixes, so we're going to be skipping those. Now onto the new maps. Starting off, we got the PvP map called Island. So I've played this map only two times. Uh, the gameplay you see in the background is in the new map. Uh, I kind of like the map. I like the aesthetic of it. Uh, of course, I'm very, very confused. I'm very lost as I'm going around the map. I don't know how to how to rotate, how to move around the map. I'm very lost, which is normal when a new map drops. You, Of course, you don't know the map, so you don't know how to move around. But I'm liking it. It, it feels like a map that's kind of designed for conquest. I played one match before this one that you see in the gameplay and it was a conquest map and it feels pretty good for a conquest map. It definitely feels like it was designed to be a conquest map. You can play this map right now in the events tab as well as it is now implemented into the versus map rotation. So you can get on right now and play this map. It's a pretty decent map. But now we're going to be talking about the second event that was released today and that is the return of Red Lake. So we got Red Lake about a few weeks ago, and I will be completely honest, I only played the Red Lake about two or three times, so I really don't remember much, and I also wasn't recording back then, so sadly I do not have any footage to show on it. But I, one thing that I do remember though, is you could go into the Red Lake mission using whatever gun you chose. Which means this is going to be really good for people that are trying to get that weapon XP as uh, leveling your weapon XP is faster in PvE. And now onto the big news of today, even bigger than the island map I would say, is the episode Hecatomb. There was also a trailer released for this map which we're gonna be going over here in a second. But this map is coming in less than three days, I'm very excited to play it. It seems like we got some new stuff for PvE. I really like what they're doing here with this game where they're actually treating PvP and PvE equally. They're not focusing more on PvP and ignoring PvE. It definitely seems like they're focusing on both at the same time and leaving both communities satisfied. And I really, really enjoy that. And I'm really excited to see how it's gonna go. So we're gonna go now onto the last part of this video, which is the biggest part. We're gonna be doing the trailer breakdown, which uh, shows a lot about the episode Hecatomb and some cool interesting stuff that I saw in this trailer. Let me go ahead and show you guys what I saw by slowing down and paying attention to every detail in this trailer. Here we go. So in the beginning of the trailer for the first few seconds it doesn't show much it just shows a little bit of how the map is going to look. So we're gonna first show that and then we'll go into further details as bigger things start to come up. So for the first 10 seconds of this 38 second long trailer, all they showed was uh, the map, how the map is going to look. And I'm, I'm not going to lie, it looks very, very good. Um, and I found that the first interesting thing about this trailer was at the 10 second mark where it shows this, uh, I'm assuming that is going to be an NPC called Keone Jarvella. Uh, it's probably going to be a new NPC that we talk to as we go through uh, the PvE. So far, all we have, I believe, is a guy called Sullivan and a, a woman called Karen, if I'm not mistaken. 
And this could be a new NPC that we're going to uh, get to see um, as we go through uh, the this expedition mode. But a more far-fetched theory is that this could be an upcoming operator. But that is indeed a very far-fetched uh, theory. So let's keep going with the trailer. Let's see what else we can find. So on the next frame, still at the 10 second mark, uh, this just looks like a church, right? Which is probably going to be part of the map. But what I found it to be interesting is it seems like a church for the strafers. And right here on the left hand side of this video, it shows a character right above the strafer logo, strafe logo, which I'm going to assume this is what the CEO of the strafe corporation is going to look like interesting let's see for the next few frames we just get a little bit more of the map it seems like this graveyard looking thing which I'm, it, this it shows this area so much that i'm willing to believe that there's going to be a boss fight here what i find it interesting is just a small detail i noticed right here on this side of the the clip there is like either a glass head or something just standing there in the doorway that's kind of creepy looking that's kind of cool this part of the trailer uh enforces the theory or the talk that the npc has uh when you're talk uh when you're going through the expedition mode where they call the strafers a cult and this seems to enforce that belief as you can see uh, it's like a church and whatever this is it's like they're holding on to crystalline like it's i don't know the holy grail or something like that this weapon just looks like the pacifier i don't think there's anything crazy there so this is an interesting part of the trailer um after doing my <laughs> very uh quick research uh this weapon is not a weapon listed in the armory so is that a teaser for a new weapon uh, was that an accident that the developer was using this weapon when making this trailer, which I really doubt? Uh, no, regardless, it is not a weapon in the armory, and it is definitely uh, a tease, it seems like. It's definitely a teaser, uh, which could imply that, that there is going to be a new tier of weapons that are going to be released. Uh, we're probably not going to end at tier 1 through 5. There's probably going to be a tier 6. Maybe more than that in the future. I don't know. But this is definitely a new weapon. And I'm interested to see how that's going to go. For this weapon, I can't really tell if it's potentially a new weapon or not. Because all it does is show when it's already ADS'd. Um, so I'm not sure about this one. Uh, I don't have every every optic in the game to know whether this is an optic for one of the current weapons or not. If you do happen to know whether this is already a, an existing weapon, uh, go ahead and let us know in the comments, please. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure. This is just a mongoose grenade launcher. Nothing much to see here. More of the map. I'm also not sure which weapon this is, but it does look like the A1 Centurion SMG. This looks like a new boss, um, perhaps maybe like an elite, um, but he looks too menacing to just be an elite. He's probably going to be one of the boss encounters of this uh, episode of Hecatome. Um, he looks pretty badass, I'm not going to lie. This is the regular envoy that we get in expedition mode, I believe. If not, then it's definitely one that looks pretty much exactly like it. Looks fucking crazy too. And that's it for the trailer. Uh, that is the end of it. I'll go ahead and link the trailer in the description uh, for anybody who wants to see the trailer in full. Uh, I'm really excited. It seems like it's going to be a good, good episode. And they also teased a new weapon. Whether on purpose or not, they teased a new weapon that's definitely a new weapon i went through every single weapon in the game and i could find nothing that looks exactly like this uh, so we'll see more on that in the future i'm sure also i'm interesting i believe that two key points 
the three key points were this weapon being teased, the this boss encounter being teased, and this new NPC or that far-fetched theory that it's a new operator. But I'm gonna assume that it's just gonna be an NPC that you talk to like Karen or Sullivan uh, throughout the campaign. And that is it guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe to your boy. It really helps me stay motivated and keep making these videos. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.